Okay, I have another aviation video for you guys today. Today we're going to be taking a dive into the history of the Montreal Mirabel International Airport, also known as just the Mirabel Airport or YMX. Located outside of Montreal, this airport was a massive failure and today we're going to talk about that. So let's get right into it. Why Mirabel Airport completely and utterly failed. So for starters, the entire vision of this project was extremely ambitious. The Mirabel Airport was planned in the 1960s and it was viewed as this grand vision to alleviate the growing air traffic congestion at Montreal's existing airport, Dorval Airport, which is now present day Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport, YUL. The project aimed to create a state-of-the-art facility capable of handling the increasing demand for air travel and positioning Montreal as a major international aviation hub. There was one problem though. Mirabel, if you look on a map, is nowhere close to downtown Montreal. This is a major problem and proved to be a big reason why it failed. The construction of Mirabel Airport had its challenges to say the least. Again, to talk about the remote location, roughly 40 kilometers from downtown Montreal, this posed major accessibility issues for passengers and businesses. Moreover, the high construction costs and delays further strained the project's budget and the timeline. And to speak more about construction challenges, this airport was not a popular idea. To make room for the land, there were a lot of homes and people that got displaced because they needed obviously a massive chunk of land for the construction of the airport. And I remember when I was in, I think it was in middle school or junior high, my history teacher told us a story about how people in Mirabel, when the project was going on, were so unwilling to give up their properties when they were going to be sort of not, I don't know if seized is necessarily the right word, but when they were going to come to demolish the houses, people were literally chaining themselves to their houses because they did not want this project to go through. And obviously, they didn't want to lose their homes in the process. They were not necessarily open to the financial compensation. And it was just a real headache for all parties involved. And it added to the construction challenges of this project. Another major problem was the lack of passenger demand. The downfall of the project can largely be attributed to the lack of anticipated passenger demand. The estimates were just way off. Many airlines and passengers preferred the convenience and accessibility of Dorval Airport, which was much, much closer to downtown Montreal. So this led for a very slow start for Mirabel right out of the gate, and airlines really weren't open to relocating outside of the city. Think about it. How far is Dorval from downtown? What, I, I don't even think it's 20 kilometers. And then here you are in Mirabel, 44 kilometers outside of the city. It just, from a logistical standpoint, it made no sense. The local economic impact of the airport project can also be kind of seen as collateral damage. So the failure of the airport project had a profound economic impact on the surrounding region in Mirabel. The anticipated growth and economic development that was expected to accompany the airport's opening never materialized as planned. Local businesses that had invested significant amounts of funds into the area faced setbacks and the overall economic benefits fell way, way short of expectations. So obviously we'd be lying to say that it was a complete and total waste of time because the airport is still used to this day. The land was ultimately repurposed and some lessons were learned in the process. So in an effort to salvage the situation, the decision was made to effectively repurpose Mirabel Airport for cargo and general aviation operations. Today, it serves as a hub for freight and logistical activities, but obviously the original purpose as a major passenger airport, it was never realized. I'd also like to point out Airbus has a massive operations facility there where a good portion of the new Airbus A220s formerly the C-Series, made by Bombardier, have been tested and manufactured in Mirabel. So this is something that Mirabel can at least be proud of. It's been the home to the design of one of the most efficient and just state-of-the-art aircraft that have come out of the last 15 to 20 years. 
So obviously the story of Mirabel Airport serves as a very valuable lesson in the challenges of aviation infrastructure planning and development. Basically, don't build an airport 50 kilometers outside of the major city that you're going to try to serve with it, especially when you already have an airport closer to the city that just needs a little bit of work. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the Mirabel Airport failure. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing. If you want to see more aviation videos, just let me know. Until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.